Hey, I'm Jenny Del Pozo, and today we are working out with your Resista Bar, and we're gonna do a full body workout. So with the full body workout, I'm just keeping on the green band, which is the lighter band, but don't worry, we'll get plenty of work with it. So let's go ahead and get started. I want you to step onto your band nice and safely, and you can just kind of find the center of that there. And then you're gonna give me a little bicep curl right here. Draw the shoulders down and back, and the arms are just gonna stay isolated right there. Then from here, we go for marches. So we're gonna lift one leg, then the other. You lift and up, lift and up. So just warming up the body here, just moving here. Feel those abs pulling in and up. Shoulders are down, and you have that nice bicep curl happening the entire time. Make sure you're stepping down onto that band each time, up and up, lift, up, go eight, six, four, three, two, and one. Rest from there, roll the shoulders back. We're going to take a little bit of a wider stance and options right here. You can keep the hands down until this feels like a little maybe more warmed up in your body. From here, we're going to squat and up, squat, and up. So I'm just letting the arms fall in front, but I'm still keeping the shoulders on my back. Reach, up, reach, hinging back. Imagine that you're sitting in back into that chair behind you. Reach, and up. Go four, three, two, Last one. Now, let's add on a little bit more. You're going to give me a bicep curl, holding the bar now a little higher, a little more tension into this lower body work. So you're going to squat it back, up. Squat back and up. <sighs> Giving a little bit more resistance to this movement. Now, again, if you're like, ah, oh, my back isn't ready for that. I liked where my arms were before. You go there. That's totally fine. Listen to that body and show me what you have to give me today. Let's go. Go for four more. Three, two, last one. I want you to stay low, put little pulses back and back. Reach back. You go for eight of them, nice and strong here. Six, go four, three, two, one. Come all the way up, Whew. shake it out. Now from here, you're gonna keep one foot in the band, and then you're going to reach the other leg back behind you. Now, I like that grip underneath grip here, underhand grip. And you'll keep that bicep curl position, okay? Now, from here, you're just going to go back into your lunge and come right back up. Same leg reaches back and back up. Little bit of resistance there on the way up. So really step into that front leg to come up each time here. Reach up. Reach it up. Go four, three, two. Last one. Hold it back there. Hold it low. Little pulses back and back. <sighs> Keeping the chest lifted, pressing down into all four corners of your front foot. Keep that band nice and snug underneath there. Eight of them. You go six. You go four. Three, two, hold it here. Now, you're gonna flip your grip. Take a lovely inhale on that exhale, pull the bar up. Maybe you stay right here, that's fine. If you can, you try to reach the arms overhead. From there, we pulse it down again and down. So again, listen to that body. Maybe right here's perfect. If you need a little bit more, you go overhead. Eight of them, you go six. You go four, three, two, one. From here, you're gonna pitch your weight forward. I'm gonna flip my grip just underneath here, and we pull in, in, in. So you feel that front leg doing lots of work today. In and in. Keep that up right here for eight, six, four, three, two, one. Whoo! Nice work right there. All right, shake it out. Let it go for a second. And then we're going to do the second side. <sighs> Woo! Okay, let's get back into this work. So now, opposite foot steps forward. You're going to give me that bicep curl at the top. 
reverse lunge, straight back. So we reach it back and up. Reach back and up. Reach it up. Now don't worry about taking that back leg too far back. I want that weight to be in that front leg. The shoulders are staying over the hips. We're not kind of trying to go back too far with it, okay? Reach. Reach it. Go for four. Three. Two. Can you get a little lower? Last one. Hold it back there. Little pulses. Pulse it down and down. Reach. Really thinking about that downward movement right here. Go for eight of them. Go six. You go four, three, two. Hold it here. Maybe the arms come up a little higher. I'm going to flip the grip. Maybe they stay right here. If you want, you reach all the way overhead. You're just nice and strong no matter where you're at. Pulse it down and down. <sighs> Take it where you can. Play with it. Here we go for eight, six, four, three, two, one. You pitch the weight forward. I'm going to take the grip underneath again. In, in. Whoo! Feeling that front leg big time. And this bar is helping me keep my upper body on too. Go eight. Go six. Go four. Three, two, one. Woo! And done with that. All right. Shake it out a little bit. Grab some water if you need. We're gonna do one more thing on those legs before we come down to the mat. Ah, <sighs> how are those legs feeling? I know you're feeling it. And again, how I was saying, just having to hold on to that bar activates the upper body. Let's you really can, like feel those shoulders pulling back, those muscles staying turned on. So this is your full body workout today. Okay, so the first leg that we started with goes back into the band. <sighs> These are your single leg deadlifts, okay? So you're going to think of it that way. You're going to start to reach the leg back. You're bending the front leg, and then you come all the way back up. <sighs> now, again, we can keep the elbows bent, giving it a little bit more resistance, and up. And if you're like, Jenny, that balance is not there for me yet. You're just going to... Come a little bit out to the side, that corner of that foot. Pop that heel. Hinge and right back up. Hinge it and right back up. So plenty of options of where you can go with this work. Stay right here. You're going to feel this. Even if you can work that balance, you can feel that leg working even more in that front leg. Then when you're ready for it, maybe you start to go for it and up. Again, you're listening to your body. <sighs> Try a few more on this side. <sighs> Back is staying engaged. <sighs> Last one. <sighs> nice, right there. We're going to switch over to the other side. So you're going to step onto that band again. And again, maybe you start out just that foot and a half, think of that, back to that diagonal. You pop that back heel, bend the elbows, hinge, bending still in that front leg too, press. Hinge it and press. <sighs> nice and strong. These are not easy. Takes a second to even figure out where you're going with this, where the weight is. You're hinging it back, but you're keeping that weight in that front leg. Then again, you can play with it from there. And up. Listen to your body. If you do it on one side, do it on the other side. You got to practice at least a few. Give me a few more right here. Last one. Nice and strong right there. We're going to take the band and come down onto your mat. 
So now we're going to use the band just as one piece. It's just like a heavier weight here, okay? So you're going to lie on down onto your back, and we're going to work an ab series here. It's your Pilates ab series. So at any time, guess what? You can take the resistive band out of it if you're like, hey, not loving it. Take it out, and you can always bring your hands behind your head and support your neck that way instead, okay? Listen to your body of where you need to go. So I'm just going to hold on to this nice and tight right here. Just kind of getting the ropes a little bit out of the way for me. Then you're going to bring your knees into your chest and then curl your head and chest up. From here, it's your single leg stretch. So you're going to keep one knee bent in, extend the other leg out. Then we just switch it and switch in and in. So those arms are a little forward right now, right? If you can, arms can start to reach back more. That's just going to give it more weight though. So you got to find your sweet spot where it's not straining the neck, but you're really working that core and challenging that core. Go for four. Go three. Go two. Last set. Then bend both legs in. Take the bar over the shins. Try to curl up a little higher. Then from here, it's your double leg stretch. So you're staying off of the shoulder blades. Inhale, reach everything away. Exhale, pull everything back in. Inhale, reach it. Exhale in. Now again, right here. Hands can be behind the head. You reach out and pull back in. Reach and in. Give me two more, then we get a little break. Last one. And rest it down. Go ahead and look side to side with the neck for a second. Then we come back up. We just keep holding onto your bar today. Knees into the chest again. Curl the head and chest up. Legs up towards the sky. Now from here, one leg reaches towards the bar as the other leg reaches just to a little V. From there, you try to tap, tap that bar. Scissor switch, tap, tap, switch, tap, tap. Keep going right there. So it's just a little kick back. Now careful, don't bruise your shins over it. Just a little tap is all you need. Tap, tap, tailbone's down, abs are in. Legs are nice and strong. Now if this bothers the hamstrings, Bend the legs a little bit more. Totally fine to go right here. Go for four, three, two, last set, and rest it down from there. Go ahead and look side to side. We're going to take the bar out of the next two exercises. So you can just rest it off to the side. Hands get to come behind the head. Or if your low back just feels a little tight today, hands can go underneath your tailbone tush area too. That's always a nice spot to help support your spine versus like start to pull and dump into your back. So you're gonna take this wherever you want to today. I'm gonna hold right here just so you can see what this looks like. Your head can stay down. Your knees come into your chest. Now head stays down. Or if it's okay in your neck, you can curl it up too. So wherever you wanna go with it, the legs go up. Heels together, toes apart. Again, you can keep a bend in the knees if you need. From here, the legs lower down for three, two, one. Lift up in one count. Again, three, two, one. Scoop and lift. Three, two, one. Up. Keep that up. Hands can be behind the head right here. Up. Two more here. Three, two, one. Up. Last one. Three, two, one. Up, bend it in, we go crisscross, reach and twist. So whatever knee is in, you curl up and over towards it. Then from there, you switch and switch, twist. Wrapping those ribs around, twist. Good, here we go for eight of them. Go six, go four, three, two, one. You rest it down, and then you just lengthen everything out. Ah. Oh. Such good work right there. Then hug those knees back into your chest. Rock and roll yourself back up. And then we're going to do some kneeling triceps next. So you're going to come kneeling. And your band is going to go underneath the knees. Now make sure it feels good behind those knees. Now there's options right here. You can stay just kneeling, either toes down, or you can tuck the toes. Or if it's just too much resistance still, you can sit down and just have this more on your shins, okay? So I'll show you two options here. You're hugging close towards the inside of the handles, arms overhead. You're gonna bend 
and straighten. Bend, straighten. So this is plenty of work right here. You're trying to hug those elbows in towards your ribs versus letting them flare out. Abs are in and up the entire time as well. Now again, you can take this a little higher up. Make sure that that band stays underneath those shins and you lift up and down. Lift. Glutes are on. Feet are nice and parallel. Keep it up wherever you're at. Nice and strong right here. Go for four of them. Three. Two. Last one. Hold it halfway. Little pulses. Just eight. Seven. Six. You're almost there. You go for four. Three. Two. One. Bring it up and over. And rest. Woo! Shake it out for a second right there. Then you're in the perfect spot. We're going to do some kickbacks. So take the band. Your feet are going to go into it. So you can just kind of find yourself in the band. Now one foot is going to stay around the arch of the foot. Okay. Your hands go onto the bar wherever it feels comfortable. And the other leg is just underneath the band. Now from here, shoulders are down, abs are in, and you're going to kick this leg back and bend it in. Kick it back and bend. <sighs> Abs are on, shoulders are down, reaching that chest forward. And even though the thumbs might be on one side, you're wrapping the arm bones around still. So again, take the thumbs wherever that feels best. I just want you to make sure that you keep that bar down. Go for four of them. Three, two, last one, hold it back there. Lift that leg up, 10. <sighs> Eight, six, almost there. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down. And we switch to the other side. So now you're going to take that band around that other leg. So again, just kind of playing with where it needs to go, finding that spot. Other leg is underneath the band so it doesn't get in the way. Then from here, you kick it back and in. Reach in. Reach it reach, belly is in, shoulders down, reach that heart forward. You're looking past the edge of your mat, reach it, reach, four more here, four, go for three, two, last one, hold it, little lifts, 10, almost there, eight, six, go for four, three, Two, one, you bring it in, you come forward and rest from there. Woo. Okay, we're gonna take the resistor bar out of this last movement, but I want you just to feel one last time those glutes working together. We did a lot of isolated work on those legs, so let's go ahead and work those glutes. Resistor bar is out of your way. You lie all the way down. Feet are hip-width apart in parallel, and your fingertips can almost touch your heels right here. Then your hands come down by your sides. You start to tuck your tailbone and lift the hips up. Hold it right there. Collarbones are wide. Feel the inner thighs hugging towards your midline here. Then from here, hips go down and up. Down, up. <sighs> down and up. Go for four more. Up. Three, get that nice squeeze at the top for two. Last one, we just hold it. Feel those inner thighs hugging, just hold it. Abs are in, just hold. Hold for four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down, hug those legs in, rock it side to side. That whole body has been worked today. Go ahead and carefully rock and roll yourself up. And you can just sit in front with me here. Sit up nice and tall. And then reach one arm across, drawing the shoulder down. Getting that nice stretch in those arms. That resistor bar will give you such great work. It gives you so much resistance. And that full body workout. Oh, nice work with all of that today. You're reaching up and overhead. Shake it out to other side.
and then bring it up and overhead again, pressing back, lifting up tall through your spine still. Shake all of that out from here. You're going to reach one leg out a little to the side. And then just go ahead and face towards the leg and reach forward. Now take that wherever it is today. You've done a lot of work here. So again, don't feel like you have to go over stretching or anything like that. You're just opening up everything you've worked today. Breathing into that. You come back up. Other side, look towards that leg, and then just reach out for it. Oh, feels so good to get that stretch into the low back even there. And then come all the way back up. Go ahead and sit cross-legged. Roll those shoulders back a couple times. And you are all done with your Resista Band workout today. Full body, awesome work. I'm Jenny Del Pozo, and I'll see you again soon.